It's Neil here again at Fab Doctor Hacker Space doing another tutorial for the Prussia Mendel. Uh, Maker Gear Prussia Mendel this time. Uh, before we started, I went ahead and drilled my holes through this, which is the top plate of the Y axis. You drill four holes. You want this to be as centered as possible. So, what I did was I ended up measuring 46 millimeters off each side. Got it centered, taped it down, and drilled a quarter inch hole through both sides. Once that was done, got everything else together. This is the top plate. This is the middle uh, connector, the two ends where the brass bushings go in, and um, the ends for these. Uh, four brass bushings, 12 nuts, 12 washers, and 12 um, hex heads. Uh, the washers, you need to use your fender washers, and your hex heads, these need to be the 12 millimeter long ones. Put are in this bag. Don't use the big bag you have of 10s, you need the 12s. So, uh, first thing I like to do when I'm doing a laser cut kit is to go ahead and drop my nuts into each one of the holes. these in. And what we're going to do when we get done is go ahead and I like putting a little bit of captain tape on each one of them. Uh, reason being is uh, with this type of electronics you're not going to have much vibration but if any vibration does happen take a little sprig of captain tape you put it over each nut. What that does is it keeps the nut from falling out during assembly or after assembly. So it doesn't take much at all and Maker Gear was nice enough to include a roll of Captain tape anyway and this stuff is you will likely never ever go through a whole roll of it. It's good use for it and Captain isn't all that ugly to look at either. So. Nut. Hope to God by now every one of you have hit fast forward. If you're still watching this, I'm very sorry. Okay, once you're done putting captain tape over each nut to hold it in place. Okay, once that's done, you can go ahead and insert your brass bushings. You will find that one direction works better than the other. See, that side works better. Press it in. You want to be careful while you're doing this not to break the piece of wood. And when you press it in, make sure that it is evenly pressed in all the way around.
if you find that for some reason they won't go in well, you can always take this part chart here. And I am like that. in there good. Next one again, you find your side where it goes in the furthest easiest. The other side was the one that, and the reason it does that is because lasers cut at a slight angle. So that's why one side works better than the other. they are equally pressed in. Okay, we're almost done here. These are the ones that go on the end. You want the brass bushings toward the inside. says there is ready. Okay, you insert those. These parts go in here. And this part goes right here. You want to try to keep the captain tape toward the inside, and you'll make sure that all of your parts here are toward the top. You need to put one washer for each one going in. and one nut for each one. Again, be sure that you are using your fender washers that were included in your kit. Really quick, easy build on this. Don't get these too tight. You're really just sort of Putting them into position. You might have to wiggle these a little bit to get them to sit right once you. Well installed. That's bottom frame. If we're lucky, this will just pop on nice and pretty. And it did. So what's that on? Now you are just at this point doing the frame parts here. By the way, if you notice, my Allen wrench is different. I have a Duplo Allen wrench that I bought a year and a half ago that I absolutely adore. You can get them at, usually you can get them at RC stores. They are the best little M3 Allen wrenches you'll ever buy. As you can see, they make really quick work of M3 hex heads. like captain it'll change your life okay. and that is your white carriage
Next we'll be integrating it into the bottom of the frame. Have fun!